All right. So I picked up a few patches from a black and white community, an official community web page and Discord server. Should stop the crashes, but knowing my luck, it's gonna happen again. And uh, the saves corrupt, so I have to play through the beginning a bit again. I'm gonna try and do it faster this time, though. This is the beginning. The birth of a god. Conscience, we're part of you. Our role is to help you be the god you want to be. So, we'll guide you as you make your godly way through whatever this world throws at you. But before then, you'll want to learn the basics. We'll help you with all that, but even more importantly, you'll need a creature. Hey, let's go and choose one. There they are. Wonderful, aren't they? You have four to choose from, but the one you choose will be with you throughout your whole time in this world. So consider carefully and make your choice wisely. Let us tell you about these amazing beasts. All creatures can be trained to become lovable, mischievous pets. Or they can be the ultimate disciplined weapons of destruction and war. <laughs> Any creature you choose can become these things. That's the wonder of a god's creature. It can become whatever you wish. All creatures will grow up to be huge and powerful. They can be cute, quirky pets, inquisitive and fun-loving. Or they can be single-minded war machines. All creatures will be as good or evil as you teach them to be. Okay, never mind. I got issues already. Yeah, right. I'd rather they spread love in the form of a massacre or two by going into battle. Creatures can live for war, domination, and destruction. Well, such a shame if you ask me. Whichever creature you choose will change according to what he learns and does. They all have their own lives, but you need to be a responsible parent and not overfeed them. So, now it's time... Oh yeah, and having the cow around is really annoying because you hear that chewing sound constantly. It's always grazing. about how to move like a god. You'll 
use the action button on this scroll to find out how to move and look around. Click the action button on this scroll to skip tutorials. You will miss out on tribute if you skip it, though. The hand is your tool for manipulating the world. The movement button pans your view around the world, like this. To move left, hold down the movement. Great work. Now we must move to our right. To move right, hold down the movement button, then drag the mouse to the left. Wonderful. Just follow the others. Let's keep going. Click and hold the ground. Then move the mouse back to pull yourself forwards. Follow the arrows to get back to your creature. Maybe now looking at this, the tutorials may be like too much. But back in the day, when these games came out, like even Black and White 1, we must pan backwards these controls were really something else. Well done. Now we shall learn to rotate your view. Hold the middle mouse button down, then drag from side to side to rotate your view. Now, whilst keeping the middle mouse button down, drag the mouse. Hmm. It's time to learn to pitch your view up and down. Middle click of the landscape, then drag the mouse backwards. Click and hold the middle mouse button in the highlighted area. Lovely. This is going very well. Now I suggest we try pitching down. Click the middle mouse button in the highlighted area and hold it down. Now, whilst keeping the middle mouse button down, push the mouse forward. There is one last thing, leader. Learning to zoom in and out. Now, try and zoom away from the creature. Roll the mouse wheel backwards to zoom Oh, and the uh, guys on the community page say that you need to install the uh, patch 1.1 first, then 1.2, then they got the community patch. I think it's 1.4 something for one. And afterwards, you should... Uh, when you launch the game, you should set the affinity on the processor to only one core or two cores, I guess that could do. And that's supposed to stop it from crashing. This is a gold scroll. These lead you through the story. Silver scrolls lead the quests in the world. Bronze scrolls are tutorials, which can teach you so much. Double-click the movement button on the ground there to zoom to it quickly. Move the hand over the rock and hold down the action button to pick it up. Once you've got hold of it, release the button. So, let's move all these rocks out of the circle. Oh, that's it. You picked up the rock like an expert. Now, move it outside the circle and click the action button again to drop it on the Remember when the... Oh, shit. On, boss. Yeah, oh, shit. The right place. Mm, smooth move. Yeah, that could happen. Look, you have received Once I threw the rocks and killed like all of them, and even rolled down on the ho little house that were there with the tutorial. <laughs> Another bronze crow. You know, villagers are wonderfully versatile. They can do so much in the world. You can simply pick up a villager and put him or her next to something. The villager will take this as divine inspiration and become a disciple. Let's have a go at this, boss. Pick up this guy here and drop him over the highlighted area. Very good. Now drop him by a highlight. And see, we got a builder. Don't look, leader. The breeders are... This person is safely working at the farm. 
And this guy is chopping trees for wood. You got all that, boss? Yeah, of course you did. And to prove it, there's a thousand tribute waiting for you. Now, why not explore the land? Click on the silver scrolls when you see them. Click on the gold scroll on the big mountain to leave. <laughs> if there is a god up there, and you can hear me... Here goes all his clothes. I'm in dire need. My life is in ruins. A rock has rolled onto my lovely garden. I've been trying to move it, but it's too big and heavy. If ever a man needs a god, I'm him. Please hear my prayer. Who's he to ask us to move a rock for him? <laughs> Let's teach him a lesson. Praise be, the rock is gone. My garden is rockless. Marvelous, you moved the rock. The man is happy and all is well. Oh, is this how it's gonna be, boss? Winning the hearts of this world's people. <laughs> You've just received tribute. Lovely. Yet look up the voice, act voice actors. Did they do anything else besides this? Look Probably did. Silver scroll. Oh no, the waterfall is blocked. What will we do now? This is awful. Don't worry. We'll think of something. Throwing objects can prove very useful in both defense and attack. To throw an object, first pick it up. Then, whilst keeping the action button held, move the mouse in the direction you want to throw. Release the button when you want to let go of the object and send it flying. Too bad. <laughs> Shit. These peaceful people, how lovely. We could help their friends by moving them so they can be together in the main valley. Isn't that sweet? A little lost valley of people. Way to go. Now, oddly enough, you can screw this up and throw them into the or into the ocean or kill them if you're not careful. That's right. <laughs> like every other mission. They do. They sure do have a lot of pigs. You rescued everyone. Look, you received one thousand tribute. The land is complete, leader. Click the gold scroll on top of the mountain to progress. Are you sure you wish to leave the land? Click again to confirm. And it vanishes. Now you've had a taste of your powers, we're ready to visit our mighty Greek capital. Yeah, full of people that worship us. Please hear us. Listen. Please Can you help hear us. That? We pray. That's a pure prayer. Hear it sounds prayers. like something terrible has happened. Oh, mighty one, please heed our call in this hour of need. Our are crushed. What's left of us hides in this city from the brutal Aztecs. And now they are at our walls. I implore you, please help us. Oh my! It's a huge Aztec army! They're invading! Our city is under siege. Aztecs have killed nearly all troops they're all going to die ah! 
Tech warriors of skill. You've got a villager, boss. Yes, you put him down in the right place. Our people are trapped by the burning buildings. Grab them and drop them in the portal. That villager is now safe. Well done. What's happening? What's that rumble? That creature seems to be performing some strange ritual. I can't actually remember, if you summon volcanoes in the game, does it screw up the land forever? It does. See why not? We've done all we can here, Vida. We have lots of followers, and we've escaped from the Aztecs. Now we gotta get ourselves powerful and take the fight back to the Aztec scum. But first, we'll have to conquer the Norse. Or free them to join us, of course. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. To the Norse land! Here are the people we saved. They're exiting the portal. Wonderful. Yeah, these guys made it, but think of how many got toasted. Ooh. Anyway, where are we? This looks like an old Greek settlement. We can re-establish ourselves here. It looks so peaceful here. With no Aztecs, it's the perfect place to build up and get more followers. There is already a town center, a storehouse, and a field which we can use. The green ring you see is the extent of your influence. You can only do things within this ring. You can extend the green influence ring by placing more buildings and having more people. When you're ready to learn how to feed your people, click on the gold scroll over the field, leader. No lazy way to get to become evil. Just throw these rocks at the enemies straight away. The villagers over there, <laughs> kill them all, or just throw them off like this and hope that that they don't roll back. Which it looks like they're not good. are going to need food very soon, leader. Move your hand over this field, then click and hold the action button to pick up the grain. When you've got 200 food in your hand, drop all fruit into the storehouse. Ah, 
We now have enough food. We need to get our people working if we want to rebuild, boss. Villagers can be turned into disciples who will work at the job you assign them. Pick up a villager, then put them down on a field. Now place the villager down over the field. No, that's not a disciple farmer. The storehouse is well stocked with wood leader. Well done. We could really do with some disciple foresters to collect wood for us. Pick up a villager and drop them next to a tree to make them a disciple forester. Make a total of three foresters. No, 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 mine workers. Next to a tree. No. That ain't the Disciple Forest, eh? We got some nifty forest thing going on, boss. Disciple Mine Worker. Disciple Now, which field actually tells you how many people does it need? Like four out of seven here. Alright, now I want to get these. Because this time I'm going to build the houses this way. After I get all these little rocks out of the way, or rocks, click on the gold scroll. Yeah, yeah. The statues on your town center represent your town's desires. This shows what your people would like to build next. Keeping your people happy is important, and they will let you know if they desire a building type. See how the statue is carrying grain? That represents the people's desires for food. If they need ore or wood, they will let you know. Keep an eye on the statue, as it will change. This plinth's height represents how good or evil you are. From its top, a flame or a fountain will spring as you perform evil or good acts. The whole city will shift to show you if you... Look at those three jackasses just sitting there. Well, not sitting there, just standing there. This statue lets you know your people's desires. Watch the height of the statue. The higher it is, the more they need their desire. This scroll shows the impressiveness of your city, its population, and happiness. <laughs> the breeders, though. <laughs> information about your growing metropolis. Refer to it. Maybe those guys are. Yeah, they're probably breeders too. That's why they're just standing around. Your hand over the statues and leave it there to get more detail. Your people desire houses. Move your hand over the rotating building, then click and hold the action button to drag it off. We'll need the right buildings and food if we're gonna support a powerful army. That's right. We'll keep going. We can speed it up by picking up a tree and dropping it on the building. You can also drag a building blueprint off an existing house. Move your hand over the existing house. Hold down the action button and drag to get the blueprint. If you want to cancel an action and empty your hand, simply shake it briskly left and right. Now I got a hand for people who can do this. Free hand. Build the perfect roads. Now, drop the tree over the house foundation. See the pile of wood there? Your villagers will use that to build the house with. Disciple Builder. Disciple Builder. Disciple Builder. Keep going. You've created a number of disciples, so why not create some more?
Disciple Forester. I like how the, the first they're scared when you pick someone up. The house is finished. And look how delighted the villagers are. <laughs> Disciple Builder. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. Yeah, that should be enough. And a temple right here. Yeah, I'm gonna figure out how, how am, am I gonna fit it later on. You get rid of these. To build How many hammer swings does it take? Is God building. Yes, you do it by oh, I see what's happening. I didn't have enough wood. Then hold your hand over the building and press and hold the action button. This is very useful, but you do lose some of the resource in the process. Oh, shut the fuck up. I think I made too many. Is that it? Pretty sure we're supposed to get some other mission now. What we need to do is increase our population. Now we've got some breeders, it should be easy to get 75 villages. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Look at that town. It's not dissimilar from ours. I don't like the look of those fellows. Those people look a little desperate. Do they? Click the gold scroll when you are ready to learn about the toolbar. Right, let's open the toolbar. See, there is a flag at the bottom left of the screen. All you need to do to open it is click the action button on it. Hey, what's that? That is the toolbar. Good. Now click again to close it. Now let me build first. Yeah. 
and I want to make a route to the mine and around the storehouse. Good. Now click again to close it. Open it up again. The toolbar holds a series of menus. These tabs are used to navigate the different menus. The tab currently selected is the construction tab. So the menu shown is the construction menu. Each menu is divided into sub-menus. We are going to show you how to access some advanced features. Press F4 to bring up the tribute menu. <laughs> Look at that. Our games today will make that. This is the coolest part of the menu. The tribute is like a form of currency. You can spend it on whatever you like, including new buildings. You can improve your godly powers and add constructions or features to your town. You earn tribute by finishing challenges and doing other impressive things. We have plenty of tribute at the moment. Enough to buy a temple. Give me a second. Check something. All right. You can now build a temple. This is a good thing with a capital G. Your town's impressiveness will increase. Select the temple from the construction menu, then place it down in your town. Mm. We just connect these first. Somehow, like this. Okay. Can I place it there still? I can. I just need to rotate a little bit. Some buildings require ore to be built. There are two sources of ore. The first is the ore mine. An ore deposit what? in the ground that okay. can be mined by your villagers. There are also all rocks. The villagers can mine these, but at the same time, you can add them to your storehouse yourself. I love it when the game just sometimes doesn't let you build. Look, what? Okay, never mind. Let's do it like that. Can't build a road, but we can build a house. <laughs> right, we should... No, we can't... Can we buy? No. Pick up some wood or ore. Hold your hand over the temple and hold the action button to help construct the building. Unfortunately, the only thing you can pick up more of is ore. You can like drag and pick up more with the restability bug. Which sucks, but what can you do? Oh, fuck's sakes, come on. Well done. You're 
birth rate is still high, nice. How much do we need to sway these? Oh, we're just waiting for the game to decide. That's enough. Pick another road. He city then people God damn it game far and wide to live in it civic buildings are a good way to increase impressiveness nobody gets hurt and we get more followers making us more powerful look those people are migrating they want to live in our town they're bringing all their worldly goods hooray People of all tribes will be drawn from far and wide to live in a good city. We'll beat our foes the clever way. Disciple breeder. Disciple breeder. Oh, this is really good. It tells you everything you need to know. We got 23 males and 70 females. That's why, like, the birth rate is it is high, but we just don't have that many peoples. Peoples. Uh, since what? Women can only have like two or three kids, four maybe. These people have come to join our town. Pick up their migration flag and drop it anywhere within our influence ring. Now that's a lie. If you drop it like right here, it's gonna be like, eh, you, did you really mean that? So you need to place it right Thank in the middle of your town, just in case. Your town. who can take other towns and lands by force. Buying the armory is the first step towards having an army. Open the toolbar and click the tribute tab. Ha! Huh, temple! Why build that when you can build an armory? Select the armory from the construction menu, then place it down in your town. You got to love the fact that no one wants to live close to the armory. You get places far, far away. Right, now we can buy the other stuff, finally.
you move you move your mouse while building, it's gonna like move the, the whatever you're holding to like really fucking far away as you saw there. Okay, let's get more farmers. Never mind, that was a kid. Right, we need ore for that. Let's see. That is sweet. Warriors form platoons. They're recruited via the flags on the top of the armory. Pick up one of the flags on the armory, then place it in the highlighted area. Dropping a flag will make a standard sized platoon. To recruit a larger platoon, hold down the action button, then drag away from the flag. Not enough men. And that's right, if you make a disciple out of everyone, you, that, you know, makes it so you can't actually get them. As warriors. What? They're gonna show it again? Someone's not happy for something. another storehouse well sure once we connect this maybe another one here no sometimes there is a problem where you make a platoon but not all the men get there in time or they just take too long and you can just cancel it and pick up uh, how many however many troops there are in in the platoon so like what's that 13 12 now see anyone else running towards it. Oh, armies are the best thing ever, but you're gonna need to keep them under control. So you need to know all about these here flags. Every platoon has a flag. You can see it held up high above the army and also in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Each platoon type has a different color and symbol on their flag to make them easy to identify. This one is a swordsman platoon. The flags also tell you what rank the platoon is. Those pips along the top indicate the rank from raw recruits to seasoned veterans. If you click on the flags in the bottom right with the action button, you pick up the flag and gain control of the platoon. Click on the flag with the move button and you'll go directly to the platoon. And there you have it, the basics of army flags. Pick up the platoon flag, boss. The animations definitely are still in the same. Like, look at the mouths. They don't really move fluidly. Let's get aggressive. 
With the platoon flag in the hand, click on the enemy town center. This will order your troops to take over the town. Let me do my thing first, come on. Ready to go. Off we go. They keep their food on the ground. That's 15k food. Like, what the hell? An army marches on its stomach, and these guys will eat twice the normal rate. So keep an eye out on your stores. Dear, oh, you know it doesn't have to be war, leader. You can take towns by impressing them, too. <laughs> this storm that appears instantly above the town, though. fireflies into the game no that's not right the green ring you see is the extent of your influence look at them <laughs> the best kind of warfare Getting lightning. Look at that. Way to go. Your followers for our glorious war machine. Yeah. Now you own this town. You can do anything in the green influence ring, just like in your town, boss. As yeah, we're just gonna pick up all the people and just move them. Get your armies out there. A newly created platoon starts at experience level one. And as they fight, they gain experience. When the platoon's experience reaches a certain threshold, they go up to the next experience level, and with it, their skills such as fighting and speed improve. Lastly, I'm just gonna build this so I don't have the exclamation mark down in the bottom left. It's kinda annoying. Or by impressing the people in those other towns. Yeah, war solves everything. Well, actually, leader, you can win by a mixture of impressing. Look at oh my god! Look at this big old rock. The time of innocence. Okay. Oh fuck. You must take a step god damn it! Road of good or evil. Broke it in half. And by the way, war is evil, and I'm evil. You get where I'm coming from. The time to choose, boss. This 
expand. As our city grows, the greater the distance our villagers will have to travel. To aid their little feet, we can build roads. To build a road, grab an existing road by holding down the action button. Then drag out the shape of the road you want. When you're happy with it, click the action button. Have a go at building a road. Well done. <laughs> it might be best if you do that first. Hey you, Greek god! If you exist, I know you can hear me. My daughter's fallen pregnant. She says if no paid attention there, the guy that actually like schmoozes his daughter changes. It's not the same one. For the child. Or the same model. Wood. Click on the gold scroll. Boss, you dirty dog! I knew you had it in you. It wasn't him. We should find whoever is responsible and clear your good name. Something is amiss here, leader. Maybe you should see where she's going. Well, thankfully, I didn't build this, so she can just go right through it. I remember back in the day when I played this as a kid, I just made a shitload of houses. The, this whole area was covered in houses. It took, her, took her literally 20 minutes to get to, to where the guy is. Standing around doing nothing because it's night. No, oh, come on, come on. Oh, she's gonna have to, like, get, oh god. Right, I also saw that you can find this game on abandoned wear, so that's the thing. Because, yeah. You can buy it on eBay, but otherwise you can't really get it. Who the fuck snoring that loud? <laughs> and also there's a mod which like adds banter to people. Please let it be like one of these two houses. Oh, looks like it is nice. I knew something was going on. You knew no such thing. Someone ought to let her father know about this. believe it I apologize I'm so sorry for accusing you wrongly I'll make sure the child is raised faithful and true to you Keep on the gold scroll. okay now we can build more houses destroy that one
Okay, that... I'm just gonna leave it like that. The real death is. Let's place it right there. I'm not the best city builder in black and white. There's people who do really amazing stuff. Could you... Okay. You want to get rid of the hammer? What a beautiful sunset. Yeah, you gotta love a big... Big ball, ball of fire. Let's see it again. By clicking the action button on the sky, the hand will change to sundial mode. When the action button is released, the sun will move in the heavens. Ah, power over the sun. But with great power comes great responsibility. Boss, show us how it's done. Did we told you? The, the sun revolves around the earth, not the other way around. Super science. Well done, leader. But all light needs a shadow. Change the time to night. Well done. I need help. This rooster wakes me up every single day. I can't get enough sleep. Please help me to silence it. Maybe we can help him, leader. Such tasks do reap rewards, you know. Roosters always crow when the sun comes up. Perhaps if the sun came up a few times in a row, the rooster would keep crowing until it gets hoarse. Easy peasy. Well done. That irritating rooster has lost its voice. Another important part of the toolbar is the objectives menu. Select the objectives tab to open it. Right. Here you can find all the important tasks that will enable Right, you, you need to, to click all of these. So some, some money. Important tasks that are just interesting to do. The tabs at the bottom right control which objectives you are When you're playing this for the first time, I do suggest you click on these. The objectives window up in the top left. They give a lot so like uh, a lot more info. On various stuff. Objective to complete the land, but you earn more tribute by undertaking some of the other ones. Yes, you earn tribute for every objective you complete. Now, if you can remember where every one, where each one of these is. Click on the gold scroll. Could you? Could you? Okay. The. Yeah. Nope. Should be one down here, yep. I think... Uh, I would have breed all of these out. I can't really see them. See the text on them. Blind as a bat.
see where else. Oh, there's lots of them here. I think I ever bother like getting all of these on any of the islands. Just the one you come across. How many do we need? Four more. Heat. Oh, they're not my people, so I can't make anything out of them. What seems to be the issue? I got foresters, right? Six foresters, yeah, three mine workers. Four more, where the fuck will we find four more? Yeah, fuck it. Hey, the creature's waking up! Well, the game definitely seem, seems more stable, at least. We didn't have one crash. Yet. Well done. That's how you get the creature to move. The creature's hungry. Let's feed him. With the leash in the hand, click on the field. Disciple Foresters. That's better. He doesn't look as hungry now. Oh, click the action button on something with the leash. The one I'm holding people. Find something to do with it. Double click the action button on that rock by the field. Sure, took down that fucking. Yeah, okay, yeah. Oh. Well, so much for the trees. They got instantly destroyed. Builders. I like how this one random guy is just standing there waiting for to get eaten, right? You should now teach your creature whether what he does is good or bad. Oh dear, he's going to eat a villager. You should teach him not to do that. Nonsense! Eating villagers will make him strong! Click and hold the action button on him. Move the mouse quickly from side to side to punish him for eating that person. Now, move the mouse slowly. Pet him and reward him. Eating people's fine but Ooh, you're on the road to making a nasty creature. What a senseless okay, waste what? of human life. If you want to cancel an action and enter your hand, simply shake it briskly left and right. That is just about everything you need to know right now. Why don't you try experimenting what? with your creature? 
thanks to your divine intervention, okay. are saved from extinction and are now strong enough that to makes sense. On their own. Yeah, I think it's time we set out to teach these Aztecs a lesson. First, we need to restore our people to their former glory and visit all the other races to gather their support. Forget support? Where were they when we needed them, huh? Let's just conquer them. Come on, let's go. If you want to leave this land, click on the gold scroll. What? Yeah, I told them not to eat them. God damn it, game. Okay, let's try and find some more of those still tips. I know they place them in that like out of the way places too. Nope. Those. I think they're probably in the forests, which some of the some of them are. Who's gonna look through these? They're all standing there and starving too. <laughs> Funnily enough, when I tried this, when I saw that the, uh, well, I can load back into my old save, the creature just went in on a rampage of learning new things, forgetting new things to learn so I can, like, tell him what to do. It was amazing. Usually he, like, stands there and does fuck all. It does what? What the fuck's happening here? Poo on trees? Sure. Playing your pen? Sure. The what? They definitely bugged out. Are you sure you wish to leave the land? Click again to confirm. Okay, I don't know what I got tribute for there, but who knows. Creature too. We need to build a town here, though. We need the tribe to grow. Right. First, let's look at the north. I think another problem might be that uh, 
concentrate and your godly powers will often you have an amd or uh, nvidia card if you have any special features on them like radeon boost or some sharpening effects or anything like that maybe you need to turn those off too which i should do impressive enough town these norse will flock to join us or if we build a big, big army we can hunt them down and put them to the sword then again it could always be like the fact that OBS is capturing it. Come along, leader. We need to start building. We should start making houses. Disciple. Disciple. Disciple, leader. Disciple foresters. Disciple mine workers. Look, the people have remembered all about altars. Altars are right, let's throw those away. Godly miracles. Let's build one as soon as possible. Look at that, you can get all your dreams. With S. I'm just gonna leave it like that, who cares? Right, I need to make builders too. Even though I just picked up all the guys working on that one actually. The farmers. Disciple farmers. No fuck. Started killing him. Disciple builders. Okay, let's do something like this. transfer these all quick since if you leave these here they're gonna like instead of mining they're gonna go pick these up which is annoying to the defense of your city. We need to build this wall to ensure the Norse can't invade. Click the action button on the turret once. Drag and then... Oh, the funny thing is, you can drag it, like, all the way over there. And then... It... <laughs> ha! They cower behind their walls. So, these Greeks will not fight like Norsemen. 
you gonna do? What you gonna do? Play. Okay, that's fine. Eat trees. Definitely not. Gather. Or sure. Play with trees. Right, maybe I should. Can we pick up a tree and give it to him? Alice for leash. See if we can pick it up. Make him work out. And he's entertaining the people too. Play with rocks can can be a problem though. You know he, he tends to throw it at the people. <laughs> Just make it like in this. Let them build. We will just I want to buy uh, the nursery. You go mine it. better a lot better actually Show us you can do it. Do we have any free peasants? Yes, we do. And I started killing her, of course. Disciple worshippers. Now that we have a worshipper, the altar will generate mana. Of course, more worshippers mean. Okay, they're not supposed to be coming this way this fast. You need worshippers to generate mana. <laughs> Simple. And get this. You can no, this is a problem. Straight into the altar to create mana too. You will never see him again, though. Oh yes. You think they can pass right through this? To buy miracles. Miracles are a very powerful force which can be used for good. Shit. Or for senseless, senseless mindless, and glorious evil. A water <laughs> Denied. The Grab the miracle and just drop it on the field to water it. Watering? Yeah. I was hoping for something more, well, fiery. Still, give it a try, boss. Hehehe. <laughs> 
<laughs> Look at that. And he shits him out. Last time I get digested and excreted by a mystical creature. <laughs> Is it? No, you're actually stuck. Into a fire. Make him burn. Yeah, that's the idea. You found my weakness. I'm done for. Can you can also make a torture pit, and he's. I think he dies from that. You sacrificed a person. Oh, now didn't that feel good? Okay, sure. Yeah, go, go beat their ass. Greeks are building walls, and so they should send a troop to their city walls. You cast a water miracle. Well done, great one. I cannot tolerate these Greeks any longer. Water, water everywhere. How wonderful. Marvelous. Hey, boys. Right, let's I buy a... Friends just wet himself. This... And all the toys. Jesus Christ, took you a while. Attack trees? No. That's a bad idea. Kissing sound. Oh, that's something. Go on. They still haven't built a house. I don't really remember how you actually get all the stats from the creature to pop up. Okay, they finally built a built a house. Ah, uh, god damn it, dude! Well, shit. your town to grow quickly it'll need lots of food our creature can help with this by gathering crops all you have to do is assign him the role of gatherer near a field 
To assign the creature a role, open the Creature Roles interface. Select the green Gatherer Role button. This changes the creature's role and puts the leash in your hand. Excellent. Now just double click the action button where you want the creature to perform the role. How oh, can the Aztecs rule this? See the radius around the flag? The creature will gather resources from within that. He'll always carry out roles inside the radius. He'll then put them in your storehouse. At the moment, your creature isn't a very good collector. He's not gathering much grain each time. This is because he's a level one gatherer. You can improve his performance. Later on, once you increase his levels, you can actually like, just leave him to gather the food. Not care about anything. Clever, eh? Your creature can also be a warrior, a builder, or an entertainer to keep the people amused. Builder creatures help with the construction of anything in the town. The mountain is farthing. Being a warrior will make him serve as an army unit. A creature is still small, and he's not a skilled warrior. He can use tribute to upgrade his warrior role, and he'll get way more. The fuck did you eat this time? Uh, yes, or you can simply leave him in free will mode. He'll do whatever he wants and whatever you've taught him. The last thing you need to know about rolls is that they affect you. We do need to kill, uh, make him poop on the field so he fertilizes it. The less free will he'll have. Leave him in a role for too long, and he'll become more like a machine than a pet. Using him in roles for a while is fine. And you can see how much free will he has by looking at this bar on the creature interface. To remove your creature from a role, click on the free will button. Now, yeah, they're really slow when it comes to building. Stuff, boss. See if you can get a bigger town out of it. And remember, if you get attacked, make him, make him a warrior. warrior. I must find out what they are doing. Gather, sure. Gather those two. Whatever they like, we will just tear it down. Come on, squeeze it in there. Sleep on houses. Sure. Look at that, they're already asking for another one of those. Door houses. Which I will... I think I'm gonna make another one here, just because the mine is there. Pull on the houses. Yeah, sure. Do this one real quick. Hey, I bet there's a ton of secrets waiting to be found here. Why don't you click on the tombstones and see what happens? See that? This one lit up. Maybe we need to click them in some order to light them all. Hmm. 
the way you do this is just mouse over them and they tell you what years the guys died in. Platoons. That's why we need to get building all. You gonna let me? Oh, I see what the problem is. Kind of. This is an outrage. Take the nearest settlement. We must stop this Greek invasion. on it oh so you know these guys are gonna go all the way around where the fuck are you going low why is that we need more breeders disciple breeder disciple breeder disciple farmer no 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 breeders people without jobs anywhere doesn't seem like it I don't think it actually tells us how many we have you know unemployed
Peter Spencer. Johnny Armstrong. <laughs> what the fucking name? Mick Brooks. What the fucking names? Look there. You're gonna be dead by the time you get back. What? They, they, they literally went outside here, gone around the whole fucking way to mine these old rocks here. And they have a fucking mine right there. Cat. Christ the key. The Greeks mock us with their very existence. Maybe if we make it, make a road to it, they're gonna go to it. Maybe. You can also hold these down. Water like that. saplings? No. Okay. The pitiful survivors of the Aztec attack will not last long here. <sighs> Jesus. Well, after this guy gets in, I'm gonna close this gate. I don't take the long way around. A migration is waiting at our borders for you to accept them. I cannot tolerate these Greeks any longer. I will have to act. Disciple builder. Disciple breeder. <laughs> Disciple builder. Disciple builder. Only I can catch him. Disciple builder. Disciple breeder. Surface still down. Then again, we didn't. Is there actually one nursery built? Nope, neither one is built yet. Those guys are in. He's gonna stay outside. Water trees, yup. Also you can like do miracles in front of the creature and he's gonna like pick it up on what to do, pick up on what to do. Let's see, 50,000. Let's get, get gatherer and warrior first. Then we're gonna get the healing. That's how you make trees. The Greek town cannot be a 
Can we plant them? You do need to plant them like where, you know, where there's green. What the fuck happened there? some nurseries. If the Aztecs are to rule with Norse help, I must stop these persistent Greeks. Maybe I should help them out a little bit, right? These Greeks build impressive cities. They are tempting our people. It must stop. Prepare a force to destroy these Greek troops. But I'm gonna make another one of these here. That should be good. It's close to the mine and close to the trees. All the trees. Will the game let me pick him up? No. Uh, fuck. Can be a little finicky. Uh, fuck off. Didn't want to kill a person. Disciple breeders. Oh, look at that dog. And with a word of. Okay. Well. Can I sacrifice him to the fire? I don't think you can. I can't pick him up and throw him in the water though. Maybe I should have given it to the creature so he eats him. These Greeks seem to thrive. Their numbers increase, but not for long. Now also gestures are in the game. But like you have certain gestures gestures you can do for miracles, but they're really hard to pull off. I shall put these intruders to death. Every last one of them. That's her birth right now, still low. God damn. Why is that though? 49 male to 37 female. It actually tells you how much uh, impressiveness you need to capture. Or you need to, you know, 
how much prisoners and you need to get to the other cities. Will be pleased when I hand them the severed heads of this Greek army. Now, it is a good idea to actually like plant trees besides your buildings. Like that. if you ever run out of trees in your area you can just plant them somewhere and gain more trees like that and just water them Let's see how many disciple breeders do we have 16 14 builders eight farmers foresters yeah we definitely need more farmers I'm just like always scared I'm gonna throw people <laughs> so they get killed. close to walls because that's apparently not safe You're gonna go? No, we got mine workers heading out this way again. I should tell them to like pick them up and eat them, right? <laughs> Imagine if they remade the game like he like takes off their armor somehow and they're clo uh, well, they can't do the clothes, I guess. But armor and weapons at least. How could these fools survive the mighty Aztec onslaught? Okay, now the birth rate is high. Nice. To tempt you. The 
pretty sure did what? Well, at least he's being way more helpful than usual. is waiting at our borders for you to accept them. Now usually what I do is I just when, when they come in I just pick up all of them to make them disciples. We do, we do need a few more foresters. Some more mine workers. Mine workers. And hopefully they go to that mine somewhere off the map disciple farmer the greeks will die for their contempt disciple farmers okay let's see our stats on those now oh, okay that's here 11 foresters 16 breeders 14 builders mine workers four, okay 17 farmers and 51 you know I just want to farm you can see total buildings here too oh here are the stats for the nice 49% okay Age zero percent. <laughs> Recruit an army to send against their puny forces. I want the Greeks to pay for what they have done. Fatness twenty nine percent. Fitness here. Anger. Uh, you have muscle too. You want a tree to work out. If that was so easy, man, <laughs> to build up your biceps that quick. Make him work out again? Yes, we can. Also, how many reps he does it actually, like, depends on, uh, let me get, pick up the tree. Depends on his on the what you give him. So if you give him a big rock, he's gonna do less reps. The Greeks must be stamped out before they are too many to count. You know what's funny? Like when you like place a lot of buildings down like this, usually you are gonna win the game. As soon as all of them are made. Not unusual. Yeah. No. You only need 6k more to get all the cities. For these newcomer Greeks. We've taken over the town. I'm placing your guys on the on the nursery to make them breeders might be a bit too spicy for some people nowadays. Disciple breeders.
Yeah, all those uh, sounds. Are people actually making babies? What you doing? Watering? No, oh, yeah. They're sending a patrol at us? Guess not. How much cash do we have? 22. Can't do shit with that. I pour scorn on this city. I would rather burn it to the ground. Help us! We need to finish our special brew. Throw this barrel to my brother over there so he can add his ingredient. Then throw it to my other brother on the next island. It needs to go to them all in turn until our brew is finished. Okay, let's see if I can make it in one go with this one. Or this time. But this was poor. Oh, come on. So, I mean, so far we only had like uh, one crash during the, like, loading the other city or other island. And, well, I guess, I mean, the one with the, when the Discord overlay was on the game. So maybe you need to turn off all of those kinds of things. Like, I usually have my... Um, Or even tuna statistics, statistics on, or MSI afterburner statistics on. So that might actually screw it up too. Or radion metrics. Who knows? It. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if the game just crashes because you're, you have two monitors on too. Also, like depending on which which graphics card you have, if you have some some just default to low graphics, you can up them at all. What a life to live, drunk. Always the best kind of life. Especially if you got your own booze, right? <gasps> I made it this time. Usually I like throw it like six times before I get it to this island. No, I don't want to screw it up. Yeah! 
praise be, the brew is finished. Let's drink it, lads. But first, a tribute to our benefactor. And we get to wonder how the fuck did they get across, right? Almost won the game. Yeah, we just need 3k more. This is isn't even built. field here too. The fuck's he doing? He's a tree hugger apparently. Well, I mean... He's constantly in the forest, he's not actually saving the forest, he's ripping them out <laughs> and watering, well, I mean, I guess, kind of helping the forest. Disciple Farmers Even the fighting is so good in this game. We must gather greater armies. The Greeks are strong. Also, you can tell them to defend, and they're gonna make a circle around the gate. And you, of course, you, once you get the archers, you can get them to stand on the walls, of course. Well, there's a shitload of people. We're actually running out of food. Oh god. You stand there and farm food. to get that and this is this built yes it is <laughs> there's a group of migrants waiting at our influence ring we can admit them or decline them also like having your, your creature like gather things is kind of gonna screw over the people because they just like sit there and watch him. What he does. By the teeming city of the Greeks. We've 
taken over a town. How can the Aztecs rule this godless world while the Greeks still exist? How many people do we have? Almost 500. Well, it's odd. Like, unlike the other, like other games, which maybe chug a little bit once you have a shitload of people in, in cities, black and white just runs fine. He was sleeping. Where the fuck are you going, mine worker? Loitering? What? <laughs> Kill him. Community two K more exp uh, not experience, but uh, what is it called? Impressiveness. Let's make another one right here. Trees. Sure. Clip in the warehouse. Sure. Poop on the villagers. <laughs> sure.
pair of forts to destroy Jeez. these Greek troops. Poor house, no one wants to build it. Hopefully they don't get like Which it looks like they did like half of them are just standing there doing f nothing They might have bugged, bugged out again These Greeks are impressive their culture and their dedication to fairness amaze me. Maybe an alliance would be to our advantage. Their people are impressed. They're wavering. If we build up a little more, the Norse will join us. It's still not too late to attack, though. But that's what I say. And we won. I have never seen such nobility in a tribe. The Greeks have shown a way other than war. I am inspired by their fairness and their civilization. I shall consider becoming allies with these Greeks. They have culture far beyond that of the Aztecs. And maybe the prophecy is true. A returning god saving a weak tribe. It will be interesting to see how they fare against the strong Japanese and the brutal Aztecs. I wonder if the Greeks will follow the prophecy and go to Honshai, where some of their brethren survive. Hurrah! Goodness and impressing has won the day. Look at that, where some of their brethren survive. It's like he doesn't know. But they probably do. So oh, now I can build on mountains, right? I need to wait for all of them to get get here so we get all the tribute.
Now, I'm not really sure, but I think you can pick them up and like drop them closer to you. Oh, I got an idea. the cattle. Are you sure you wish to leave? Okay, maybe I shouldn't build close to the gold scroll. I screw something up. influenced by dropping down houses so in theory you should be able to win the game just if you make enough if you drop enough house houses down I guess disciple builders Yeah, let me get out of my way. I want to make a road. <sighs> Can we lower the sounds of those? Maybe I need to look up which ones are those. I'm just making a place a complete mess of cities now. Where the fuck are the immigrants? Okay, they're just moving towards the center of the town. Which I think is a bug. I saw someone mentioned that on the forums. next to a storehouse everything is there man well, all you'll ever need in the food the wood the ore right
Okay, they're halfway. Oh, it actually... Yeah. It did crash, but it didn't save at that point. At least something could happen. Let's get the granary first. Well, we can't get the gra graveyard too. Okay, I don't like the look of those. Like that. Need a shitload of wood and some more. Got a lot of some trees, just don't want to get picked up. too. <laughs> Got that. What's Grim Reaper too? That counts as a feel? Oh, come on. Attack wild animals. Sure. Sure. Play with houses. Sure. I don't think anything bad could happen. Mm. 
It always pissed me off when they get angry if you take out uh, any resources out of the f stockpile. Like, bitch, I'm doing it for you. Disciple refiners. Disciple refiners. Disciple farmers. See what I mean? Like half of them just sit there watching the creature do stuff. Which can be an issue. Or they're just standing there doing f nothing. That's a whole lot of people. Might need more houses. Well then again, I'm just gonna go to the next land once they come in. So, ain't gonna matter much. What the hell are you doing? Are you doing anything? Um, Jimmy, you can look for it on eBay, I guess. But otherwise, since I did saw like a black and white one and two, both games selling for like 30, 40 and 50 euros, I suggest you just pirate it or just go to abandoned wear or search for it in google because the game really is abandoned there is no way to get it anymore um, i have the key cd keys somewhere cds somewhere but they're scratched to shit so i even i have a pirated version well i think my black and white one this Discs should be fine, I didn't use them that much. Until like GOG gets it, uh, gets the game working and gets on the store, there really is no other way. Like even those games, uh, even the CDs you get on eBay, who knows if they're scratched or not, you know? Then again, you just need the CD keys, but still. Plus, with the pirated version, you don't need to have a CD in your drive to play the game, so that's a bonus. Makes your life so much easier, because who the hell has a DVD reader now? <laughs> or CD reader? <laughs> now I, for some reason, have one in my case, but I didn't hook it up. You're just gonna sit there, you jackasses. <laughs> Dog running in circles. Oh, it's not it. like if he was chasing his tail, that would make more sense. Oh, there's a few more. And plus, there's no guarantee that the game is actually gonna work on your system. I had a few crashes in like, what? When a half hours I'm playing, I had like five crashes. So, you know. You can also find the black and white community forums and website, unofficial one. 
We made a patch which should make the game run at least somewhat better on modern systems. Didn't help me much, but well, it did. I don't have as many crashes. Leader, I've been hearing rumors that some more of our people survived the Aztec volcanoes. Some elite archers managed to fight their way clear after we left. We Look at that, he, even he's disappearing. Well, both of them are not showing up. We need everyone we can get, archers or not. They're on another land. We must go and find them. Yeah, archers. What are we waiting for? Let's see if it actually loads the next land or does it crash. Okay, good. They load it up. This place doesn't look so bad. We should be able to take it over with a little effort. Great! More warfare! This is what makes my blood tangle! But if you're impressive, you don't need to win through bloodshed. Because you win without having to fight. There doesn't seem to be any opposition. And look! The missing archers. Some juicy towns to ransack. I'm gonna like this place. What? Watch this. Another portal. Who does that belong to? The rumors of the Greeks' return are true. My brother has sent me to make this island safe. This I will do. Sounds like a tribal command, boss. We'd better start building now. These Japanese seem to be forming. You got to love the fact that the AI doesn't build the roads at, at fucking all. They look pretty handy and Which just seems too well. so odd. Yeah, first things first. We got, let me see, 50 warriors. Get those the fuck nice off of here. Real nice. Oh god, I'm too good. And being good actually makes it hard to see your... Your people. Okay, how many is that? Twelve breeders should be fine for now. Disciple mine workers. We need disciple foresters. marches on his stomach and these guys will eat twice the normal rate so keep an eye out on your stores that I mean, we're not gonna need walls but yeah sure also yesterday when I played uh, the game actually it's at a certain point just didn't render the houses too or buildings at all Wait, how was I gonna build this? Nation needs resources, and this storehouse. Oh, we need uh, an altar. Hey, boys, we've got enough tribute to build an archer armory. Hey, let's do it. The Greek codes seem uneasy for, as the teachings of war say, fear not your enemy. There. They will store enough to keep the fallen of this conflict alive for years to come. This ain't the best way, but it's gonna work.
See how many houses can we fit here. Right, we need to get rid of these. We make a few granaries first. Two should be enough. Just a lot of fields between them. Thanks for the follow, Jimmy, by the way. I could give you the link for the di uh, Black and White Community Discord if you want. There's a bunch of stuff up th in there, like mods too. They made a mod where you can play as a Norse, which is interesting. I have underestimated them. Their tongue grows quickly. Of course you do. These bastards ate the whole, ate the, the whole food supply. Like instantly, probably. But I should get rid of them as fast as possible. Okay, Discord invite. Give me a second. Here's the forums. And here's the link for the Discord. Now hopefully the game didn't crash. It didn't. Good. <laughs> Also, you can find people who play the Black and White 1 still on there, if you want to play the multiplayer for that. So that's a plus. Also, you can like go over to... or just uh, type into Google like GOG Black and White 2. There's a bunch of people who signed a petition or like a request to get the Black and White series on there. Because if anyone can get it on the market again, it's probably GOG, good old games. Fix it up a little bit. Because EA ain't, EA ain't gonna fix the game, probably. Right, I should make him the gatherer for now. People don't starve to death. Maybe I should make some builders too. Disciple builders. Right, I, I should probably buy the like the first up uh, the last upgrade for the advanced gathering first, so I can throw the food in there. All right. Also, there is a mod that uh, they made so you can actually use the uh, spells or the miracles from the expansion in this. So that's really good. I want should test that out. We can just drop the. 
I don't remember what the miracle is called, but like that instantly uh, gets uh, revives everyone that's dead and fills your storehouse. That's so good. Let's try and build this and get rid of those archers. They're gonna eat all the food. So the you get more people in the workforce. We must be ready for the inevitable assault. So, you like your armies, do you? Bow to the might of my armies! No, oh, and I remember when I played this um, uh, this land for the first time and I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna conquer you and this and that, and like brought the whole army here and he just dropped the fucking siren wonder on me. Uh, and I had like 600 troops on him. God fucking damn, that was painful to watch. <laughs> Losing all of them. Alright, this is a great way to make more breeders and workers. Disciple breeders. Yeah, we got a real people factory. The more people we have, the bigger armies we can. People factory, yes. What the fuck are they? Plague Marines? Disciple Foresters. Uh can't really get mine workers, can I? Shit. Maybe a couple more builders then? God damn, they're slow at building at first. Disciple worshippers. Also, when you play this, remember to like save all the goddamn time. Because the game tends to crash a lot. Well, maybe, who knows? It might work fine for you. Destroy that, right? I want to make refiner, so let's build that real quick. So they begin to stockpile their food supplies. Also, I remember when I played this before, and you know, like you go into the files and change the how much everything costs to build or to buy. <laughs> Jeez, the game that way and get everything in the beginning. Yeah, I think you can modify everything too. Like even like um, the birth rate percentage you get from the nurseries and everything else was a pain in the ass though to get everything sorted out okay, we're gonna build that 
Let's actually see the fertility map. Probably like building out the city out here is a good idea. Make this a whole farming area. The Greeks have a formidable city. My people must work harder. Why would my people forfeit their honor and join the enemy? Come on, place it. Fuck. Good. <laughs> no, I did. I really screwed up the look of this town for sure. Okay, I can stop doing that now. Yeah, we already got that people, it seems. Right, where am I gonna play? Where am I gonna place this? These Greeks are expanding their territory. I don't know. I still don't know why the graveyards increase uh, fertility. That makes no fucking sense. Or productivity, not fertility. Probably like mix a few more granaries like here. Okay, let's look at this. So eight workers out of eight output level three hundred and forty. We can't really see. Like that's another thing they should add if they ever remake the game, like to make the UI scale for people who can't see like me. <laughs> They make that like that. A migration is waiting at our borders for you. And I'm actually surprised that they uh, got to it. Start the construction of the siren wonder. Knew this. this is bad. And he disappeared again. If the Aztecs did not have us in their power, we would end this conflict. We have no true quarrel with these Greeks. These people join us and take up our code of honor. We will benefit from their strengths. I mean, they, they could have made it so they actually pull out the swords for this. More followers. We gain strength in such growing numbers. We cannot fail. that expand too fast expose their flanks. Ah, this sturdy gatehouse is pleasing. It will defend us well. Too bad I'm not gonna attack them. Yes, you can. Nice.
All right, what is the problem? I need to make this so I can like fill a warehouse here. I'm gonna buy the refineries for ore and wood here. Where are these guys? The Greeks are ambitious. They tempt our towns. Send archers to fortify the walls. We tempt their towns, so they're gonna send archers to the walls because that's gonna save their asses. Makes sense, doesn't it? Let's see how much cash do we have. 60. Also, they say on the forums that you should uh, make the game run on one core only. Okay. The whole this area I built. that expand too fast expose their flanks. Ah, this sturdy gatehouse is pleasing. It will defend us well. Which, I did like set the game to run on one core, but seems that that doesn't help that much. Still got crashes. The refiner should like switch to the other building. That one is overused, right? Same thing there, either. Yes, that's what I need. I need him to give me an option so he poops on the fields to increase fertility. They tempt our towns. Send archers to fortify the walls. Okay, for that line it crashed. We unite against the Greek menace. Also, some people are saying that the uh, land five doesn't load in, I think, or land four. Not sure which one is which. For a second. The Norse is the second, right? So this is the third. So the next Japanese mission might actually crash. We're gonna see what happens. The people migrate to the Japanese way of life. A nursery to nurture the honorable warriors of tomorrow.
You gonna use this? Doesn't look like it. Oh, I got an idea. Is there another tree somewhere I can grab? Not really. Yeah, it worked. Let's make a shit a shitload of trees like this. actually leave do here wait come on you're gonna place okay never mind you're not gonna place it down right I should build this our might and our culture brings in yet more souls maybe that's a good strategy for this land just keep a bunch of trees up there these Greeks are unlike any people I have met before. Shit. Not letting me place it down. Gee. The teachings say we must build to keep well, fuck. people. We must remind the villagers that their owner is to the Japanese. Yeah, make one of the uh, now let's increase our sphere of influence that way first a little bit or I want to place it like there. I just have an island of trees up here. Help the young monk cheat on his test. Student monk, it is time for your test. Or student monk. Destroy the blocks using your chi. Focus, boy. Oh, and don't disappear, that means the game is gonna probably crash. God. <laughs> Gotta love the side missions or side quests in this game. Excellent. Excellent. 
Good thing I added the trees there, right? Looks so nice. Shit, I shouldn't have... Fuck. It's not gonna let me place him down. Nope. as many as I thought it would. We need more mana. <laughs> Can I pick up the ball? I think so. Okay, I can. Nice. What the f... Why were you stuck there? Time didn't crash. Wait for these to get built so I can make the warehouse right there in the middle between those two. A migration is waiting at our borders for you to accept them. Okay, birth rate is high, that's good. Product product bleh. Productivity is high too. Right, I want to make another one of these, like, here. Since we're gonna have, like, a lot of fields here, maybe another warehouse right there. connect that Worker, only four mine workers. 16 foresters. Where the fuck are they though? What the? What the? I think these are supposed to be in the trees, right? <laughs> A lot of floating. Well, floating birds. There you have it. I see what the problem is. Our woodcutters are going like over here to get to it. No, what? What? Oh god. Yeah, maybe roads are not the best idea. It's not letting me destroy this one. Since to build this, they're gonna go all. Yeah, they're going all the way around since the roads lead there.
There's a group of migrants waiting at our influence ring. We can admit them or decline them. Why do our people migrate to their city? Disciple foresters. Now we're gonna need a lot more mine workers. Ooh, bunnies. No fucking eaters, though. Don't know why they're moving in slow mo, though. Slow motion bunnies. Oh, come on. oh, great. We can make another one there. The Greeks bury their dead with honor. I like how his lines are sometimes he likes you, sometimes he doesn't. Like, it's, you do the same thing, but he's something. Eh, he's awful. He's this, he's that. I wanted to buy the meadow. Definitely not worth it, but still. Okay, where's that? Here. Fuck six, man, come on. I like how that automatically spawns pigs in. This big field. Those three granaries should. Zero out of nine workers. What? Zero out of eight. This ain't built yet. <laughs> now they're just gonna. Want a shitload of meadows everywhere. Right, since you can't. Well, never mind, I can't build it there. At least we're not having food issues. Okay, 19 refiners, that should be enough. We need more mine workers. Speed this up a little bit. Okay, that did nothing for our influence. Okay, kinda wanna build this just so we can actually that's not gonna work since Lands a bit uneven there. Okay, 
Yeah, you go build that. so fucking slow. Oh, for fuck's sakes, come on. Pull the fucking thing. Gain fat from just standing there. You could go faster, for fuck's sakes. That's what I get for taking a cat, right? <laughs> He's gonna do whatever he goddamn pleases. Mine workers too. Okay, you got up, good. Go pick up one of these for me. Make you work out, sure. Drop it down here, come on. Uh, yeah, that works. Uh, you do whatever. Join our majestic capsule. With our tenacious spirit, even your capsule. Don't think they clamor if you force them to join you, right? But a bunch of lies and propaganda. The fuck are you doing? for you to accept them.
Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it road up there. That's more like it. A whole lot of fields. The Greeks spread like blooms on the blood soaked battlefield. All these connect. Yeah, that's look that looks awful. Well, at least it's not gonna matter much. <laughs> I thought I could get away with it. Disciple refiners. Refiners. Also, it would be cool if they if they ever remake the game to give you like sliders and stuff, or maybe something like uh, uh, yeah. God, God damn it! I can't remember what the game's called. Rains of Rise to Ruin, something like that. Another city builder where you have to manage everything. Pixel, pixelated as it's in the, in the game. But basically you can like, you have a certain amount of uh, people and you can assign jobs to them. Just by, from a menu off on the left of the screen. We got 175 farmers. Okay, let's see how far off we are from winning the... Not too much, only 7k. And again, when I play this... 
before before it crashed. I had a I bought the university too. I think I wanna go for gatherer first. Let's buy these. Place to old folks home next to the graveyard, so they <laughs> so they see their future. Place a temple right there. Maybe not. Okay, finally, we're getting some decent produ production of everything. to oppose them. The Aztecs command us to. What? There's what, three or four of them in there? They're just looking at the tree? definitely has something to do with uh, you know the game running on a modern system I don't think it, I don't remember that happening before To squeeze the building in. Probably I should, I should probably buy skyscrapers. Fuck it. You have a bunch of skyscrap skyscrapers everywhere. Even though people hate living in them, don't know why. 
We all live in, live in them today, don't we? Ah, fuck's sake, game. How many people do we have, though? 600, 700, almost. Zero out of 250. What, no one died? Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Now that's one thing that bugs me. If that was an, uh, if that was a rock, a normal rock, it would have destroyed everything. Because it's a normal rock, it just makes it itself into a war. Magically. Okay, yeah, definitely, there's definitely a problem. Respect for the elderly and infirm is a true sign of strength. Do like people get bugged out after a while. We have enough of everything to win this, I think. <laughs> yeah, sleep next to your turds. On your toys, sure. And gather wood. Drinking weakens the senses of both builders and strategists. So say the teachings. Right, I need this to finish so we can destroy this road. Aztecs did not have us in their power. We would end this conflict. We have no true quarrel with these Greeks. I don't know why all the uh, like enemies are evil by default. See if I can remember how to finish these. I will click on it. Look, boys, that spy needs to get through the forest, but he's gonna get himself ambushed. If you spend the signs, you might be able to get him through safely. Those dumb ambushes will also follow the signs, so we can send them on a wild goose chase and make sure the spy gets through. I don't think I ever finished this. Well, he's dead already. 
Oh, maybe not. See how I blend with my surroundings. You sure do. Maybe I can get two of them stuck up here. Forever. Maybe even all of them. What? Okay, never mind. They changed those back, apparently. That's your first piece of information. Oh god, this is a pain in the ass. Bit. Let's see, hopefully they don't change the direction of that one. I am like the wind. Up there and down there. Oh god. Never actually did this one. Takes too long. Another piece of information now. Can I change the direction of this? No. See how I blend with my surroundings. Never mind then. He's like walking slowly and well, and sure you are. While all the, all the other guys are running. Oh shit. No, that might be bad. The treasure hunter killed. Ah, oh, fuck that. How much do we get for that? Forty K. I'm not sure that's worth it. <laughs> Why the fuck can't I destroy that?
really got to imagine how black and white would be today. All the new advancements in gaming. Well, to be fair, if it came out today, EA would probably make it a pay to win or, you know, full of micro transactions. Sadly, that would probably be the case. can't make houses there but what can we she can nice connect all that places to build but we only need 300 more be told. It is like the prophecy. These people have a god. I have seen miracles and a creature. I must go through the portal to find my brother immediately. Now we can move on to Nagoyan. Click on the gold scroll when you want to leave this land. The, the cloud is talking to us. <laughs> okay, now we were... Yeah, maybe I should have waited. I heard that song before. Let's try and do this one. I don't remember what this one is. Oh, my poor dolly. You look so poorly. What on earth is wrong with you? He's gonna give birth. Explosive birth. That sheep isn't ill. It's giving birth. Catch her lambs or they'll get hurt. Try not to let me drop. And that's how that's how how lambs give birth or sheep give birth. They catapult their lambs out of them. Oh, here comes another. This is realistic as well. <laughs> Get ready. Here it comes. 
All right, we got a hundred dinars for for tribute if we build a wonder. To get one, it costs like two hundred. So that's not going to happen. Any second now. Come on. Get ready. Here it comes. No oh god, how many are there? Now. I'm waiting for the triple shot. Man, if she really give birth to this many, it's profitable. Like even cows. A cow gives, what, 20, 30 liters or even 40 liters of milk per day? Like, gee, like what, what the hell am I going to do with that? I only need a quarter of a cow then. Even that's too much, right? <laughs> friends to play with. You did it, leader. Great work. <laughs> you got to hand it to whoever thought of that one. No, they even didn't, they didn't even make that. They didn't even finish the wall. Yeah. I think something's wrong with the game. It's not only um, like their villagers too. Also, like bug out. It's usually like when you do this. It depends on whether you're not good or evil. What your fist is gonna do. Um, usually they build up real fast, but look, uh, when we looked over here, there was a bunch of soldiers stuck here, not doing anything. So de there definitely is a problem with that. Like these guys are still standing here. Looks like there's always a bunch of people next to the storehouses just standing there. Okay, that might be an issue. Or maybe just certain people bug out. Never mind. They gonna move? You gonna move? Okay, 
he didn't move for a little bit there. Look, it's a man. Okay, so I'm gonna end it here for now. And hopefully the save file isn't gonna corrupt or something. Or I'm not gonna try... Ooh, a bunny rabbit. I'm not gonna try to install any patches or fixes. Till next time. So have a good morning, good day, good night. Thank you for watching. And see ya.